Jerry Cooney, unbeaten top contender, making his first network television appearance. His opponent is a familiar figure, veteran Jimmy Young, who has battled the best, including this title fight four years ago against Muhammad Ali. Many thought Young defeated Ali, but he did not win here. He's had his ups and downs since. He's on the comeback trail. How far? We will learn somewhat today. Goes home. He is quiet, away from the ring. He is most aggressive inside, but there are questions. How good is Jerry Cooney? Is he strictly a one-punch fighter? And can he take a punch? We'll try to learn some of those answers this afternoon. He has the quick hands. Jimmy Young has been there before. He has fought for the heavyweight title against the likes of Muhammad Ali and Ken Norton. His shining moment, of course, was his victory over George Foreman, but he slumped after the Norton loss as he lost interest in boxing and was out of condition. Thus, a very important question for Jimmy Young today. Is he conditioned for this fight? And can he do what he does best, be the defensive fighter, the counter puncher? Can he tie up and stop Cooney from doing what he likes best, throw those left hooks? I think I am, and first of all, I'd like to clear you up on one thing. There's only one heavyweight champion in the world, and that's Larry Holmes. Right. I'm here enjoying myself at Caesars Boardwalk Regency, and I'm here to check out Jimmy Young and Jerry Cooney to see if the white collar uh, oh, worker can beat the labor worker. Okay, what are your opinions about the fight going in? What do you have a pick? Yes, I feel that Jimmy Young might be a little bit too clever for Jerry Cooney. Cooney in the ring right now, and Gil, I've got to ask you one question before your prediction. That is, is would he be susceptible to a punch? Has he really ever taken a good punch? All heavyweights are susceptible to punches. This is the heavyweight division. One punch can change a fight around. All right, so we have the veteran Jimmy Young trying to get back. Cooney on the rise. As you look at Jimmy Young right now, your thoughts? Well, my thoughts, this is a typical boxing match. The KG veteran with all the experience against the young kid on the way up. In my opinion, youth will be served. All right, the heavyweights. And a fight that many boxing observers are looking closely at because Jerry Cooney is finally getting an opponent who is a major opponent for him. Cooney against Young, and we'll be back with round one when we return in just a moment. We are back live here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Dick Stockton and Gil Clancy on the CBS Sports Spectacular. We want to re remember that next week it'll be Marty Monroe against Lynn Ball. Two heavyweights, young heavyweights on the rise next Saturday on our show. Right now, let's go into the ring. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jack Bramley, welcoming you to this momentous heavyweight classic. The bout is promoted by Global Productions in conjunction with Don King. You're... New Jersey State Athletic Commission, Jersey Joe Walcott Chairman, Bob Lee Deputy Chairman. Judges for today's contest are Harold Letterman and Charlie Spina. Referee for our main event, Tony Pettis. Ten rounds, ten rounds in this momentous heavyweight contest. We would like to introduce first from the city of brotherly love. He's wearing white trunks trimmed in red and weighs in at 223 pounds even. He's ranked number six in the world by the WBC, Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young. And his opponent coming from Huntington, Long Island. He's wearing white trunks trimmed in green and weighs in at 224 and one half pounds. He's ranked number one by the WBA, undefeated in 22 professional contests, 18 by KO, gentlemen, Jerry Cooney. Ten rounds. All right, the rules here. Established by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, the fight is scored on a round system with a supplementary five-point must system. Two judges and the referee score the fight. There is a mandatory eight count. There is no three knockdown rule, and the bell will save a fighter only in the final round. The referee, the very competent and veteran Tony Perez, the judges Charles Spina and Harold Letterman, we are live at Convention Hall, Atlantic City, New Jersey. This heavyweight fight scheduled for 10 rounds or less. There's Tony Perez. Jerry Cooney, 6'5", Jimmy Young at 6'2". This is the tallest fighter Young has ever had to face. Cooney weighs 224 and a half, Young 223, underway. Well, here we go, Dick, and I'm excited. You can feel the tension in the air. This is like a heavyweight championship fight. Awful lot at stake here today, Dick.
Rooney's last victory was a sixth round knockout over Leroy Boone here in Atlantic City. Young defeated Don Halpin at Great Gorge in a second round knockout on March the 8th. Jimmy Young is a smart fighter. He's going into his regular routine. He's very relaxed. Look like it. he makes believe he isn't going to do anything. And then all of a sudden, when he lulls you to sleep, he lashes out. Going to the body. Young has had a reputation of making his opponents look bad, hasn't he? Oh, he's, he's probably the cutest guy in the business. Minute remaining in round one. Actually, a little under two minutes remaining. There's a right hand. Uh, they said that Cooney doesn't have a right hand. I saw him against Tom Brady. He bangs that right hand to the body pretty good. And then he goes back with the left hook. It's a better right than he threw against Dennis when he was kind of pushing the right hand. You have to go to the body with Jimmy Young. Very, very tough guy to hit on the head with a lead punch. We talk about the left hook. We also have the left uppercut, which is a very strong weapon in Jerry Cooney's arsenal. Round one scheduled for 10. Left jab. You can hear those body punches in the 10th row. You can. Sounds like beating a bass drum. Hey, one thing, though, we don't see that tire around the midsection of Jimmy Young. Well, Jimmy Young's in shape for this fight. His career's on the line right now. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining in the first round. Far of feeling out first round and Young with a left hand. Final second. <laughs> round two here in Atlantic City, Gil. You know, Cooney may have won that first round, but Young has got Cooney doing what he wants to do. Cooney is trying to figure Jimmy Young out. That's the worst thing you can do. With Young, you have to just walk in. Start leading to the body and throw punches. If you stay there and try to faint with Jimmy Young and try to figure him out and nail him with one punch, you'll never do it. You'll be looking at the end of the night. The rain has stopped in Charlotte. We're going to have more racing a little later on in the Charlotte 600 on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Good news down south. Scheduled for 10 here in Atlantic City, live from Convention Hall. Jimmy Young, so adept at picking off those punches. There's a good quick jab. Right, you, see, you see, Jerry Corney is staying out there trying to figure him out. You're not going to miss him in the body. Even if he drop, if he blocks the body punch, he make, you make him exchange with you. He has to faint the jab and start throwing punches to the body. Everything's to the head. There were three more punches to the head. That's the wrong fight for Jerry Cooney to fight. Got to go to the body. That's what worked for Norton against Jimmy Young in their title fight. Minute and a half remaining, round two. Good right to the midsection. That's that right hand that I was telling you about. That he bangs it in there pretty good, but he comes back with the left hook. He can really put you away. Jimmy Young getting in a couple of shots to the body, missing with a roundhouse right, and more aggressive than we expected, perhaps. Well, we were told how good he looked in the gymnasium. He's showing it now. We don't know what the result will be, but Young seems serious here in this effort. He certainly has his interest back in boxing. Minute remaining, round two. <laughs> by and Jerry Cooney. And a good counter by Jimmy Young. 
quick jab is working for him. Corny's punching all his punches into the head. He was in perfect position to throw a left hook to the body then and went back to the head. There he just did it again. Final seconds, less than a half a minute to go in round two. Young is content with the jab. And when he gets inside to go to Cooney's body, keeping the pace the way he wants it, Gil. That's right. Final seconds of round two taking off. And a good left by Young. <laughs> round three in Jerry Cooney's corner working on something above his eye. And Cooney coming out with a vengeance here in the third. Well, he had a, he has a slight cut over okay. his left eye. And Dennis Rappaport, his manager, complained to referee Tony Perez that, he was, that Cooney was being thumbed. I tell you, Jimmy's going to use every trick in the book. He's a KG veteran. Well, after a first round of feeling out, Cooney now starting to come on as an aggressor here in round three. That's what he has to do. He has to make a war out of it, not a chess match. Marty Monroe, Lynn Ball, two good heavyweights, young heavyweights, next Saturday on the CBS Sports Spectacular, 5 Eastern from El Paso, Texas. Young, a master at covering up, nullifying his opponent's strength. More body punching from Young than from Cooney. That's right. Jimmy's sinking him into the body. That, that may affect Jimmy in the later rounds. Monroe and Ball, part of our program next week. Boxer against the puncher. There's that right hand to the body. It sets up that left hook. The uppercut. And Jimmy Young taking some punishment and a cut and he's on got his got right a bad eye. Cut. Got a bad cut on his right eye that could affect his vision, and apparently it is right now. Cooney is going after Jimmy Young right now, and he's bothered by the cut as Young. And Cooney's making that amateur mistake. He's going for the head. He should bang underneath, and he'll be able, he'll be able to hit him on the head. For the head is Cody, but what a left hand he has, and the uppercut working to advantage for him here with a minute to go in round three. A big round for Cooney. I think we mentioned before the fight that when he hits you, he puts lumps on you. Low blow, says Cooney, and they separate him for a oh, while. Jimmy did hit him low. Jimmy's going to try anything he can to win this fight. Cooney unbeaten 22 and 0 with 18 knockouts, 23 years old, ranked first by the WBA. Wants a title shot. Another low blow by Jimmy Young. A minute remaining in an action-packed third round. Young going to the body now. now. Cooney threw a couple of good short punches. They hurt you. Now Jimmy's returning the favor. A big round for Jerry Cooney as he opened up a cut over Jimmy Young's right eye. And those punches hurt with Jimmy Young as he goes back there and tries to shake the cobwebs and the blood because it's obviously affecting his vision. They'll work on him, but Gil, we're going to take another look at a devastating round here by Jerry Cooney. Hey, Cooney's, hey, he, had, he caught him. See that left hook back underneath? If he stayed underneath, I think he could have got Jimmy out of there. The doctors are checking him. Dr. Frank Doggett and Dr. Paul Williams. Paul Williams is in the corner looking at Jimmy Young. The cut is over his right eye, actually toward the middle of the head, but it's affected him. It's in a bad spot to cut because the blood's going to run right down into the eye. Jimmy has a good corner man and Eddie Fudge. He should be able to take care of the bleeding. George Benton in Young's corner, Victor Valley in Cooney's corner. Fantastic. Jimmy Young, an important fight in his comeback trail. Let's see, Cooney continues the aggression that he started last round, goes after him. Cooney came out of his corner like a tiger. He's throwing all the punches at this point. Pounding and Jimmy Young. He's a mess. He's a bloody mess. Look, as I told you, when he hit.
Richie puts ropes on you, this kid. He can punch. Jimmy Young's face. They have to take a look butcher. at Jimmy now. He's he's really cut up. I don't think he can see out of that right eye. It's on the left of the bridge of the nose, actually. And that is in a bad position, as you said. Round four. And Cody. Impressive in his big major test of his young career. Young Cut trying to come back here. Young, young is giving it that alley rope, but dope. What Jerry has to do, he puts those hands up in front of his head. I keep saying, I'm saying it again. Throw that right hand hard to the body. Young is, is having trouble oh, seeing Jimmy out of that right Jimmy eye. Jimmy can't see out of that right eye at all. There's that right hand to the body. That's the one I'm talking about. There it is again. That's the punch he has to throw. It sets up the other punches. Jimmy Young gave Lee. He showed the heart in the seventh round against Foreman, but that was two years ago. Good by Young. Minute and a half to go, round four. Both of these fighters know that their career is on the line. This is a fight. Good left hook by Young again. Jimmy Young has been stopped only once in his career, that by Ernie Shavers back in 1973. The only time. He's got plenty of snap in that left hook. He's throwing a lot of leather now. So is Young. I mean Young. Oh, excuse me, Dick. <laughs> A lot of them are south of the board. I'm surprised that referee Tony Perez hasn't won Young more often. Oh, yes! And there was the right hand! A right hand that they said that Cooney doesn't have! A beautiful right hand by Jimmy... Excuse me, by Jerry Cooney. I'm excited. 30 seconds remaining in round four. Oh, the referee has and to Jimmy stop Young this fight. See. I don't know what the referee is waiting for! Tony what is Perez. he waiting for? Tony what? Perez is looking at Jimmy Young, and Jimmy Young can't see. He looks like Dino Dennis. That's that's what Cooney does to you. He makes you up. Career is on the line for Jimmy Young, and he is a mess. Final seconds of round number four. I think the doctor will stop this fight. Jimmy's blind in there. He can't see. We're going to keep it right here. The doctor is going to come over now to look at Jimmy Young at the corner. Jimmy Young is a mess. It's all over. The fight is over. The fight is Jerry over. Cooney. And deservedly so. Jerry Cooney takes a big, giant step. Right now, Cooney's the hottest heavyweight in the world. Jerry Cooney scored his 19th knockout victory in 23 fights. He has affirmed the number one ranking by the WBA, who should move up all the way. And Jerry Cooney's first national television exposure is just what the press clipping said it would be, Gil. Well, we knew, we knew he could punch. We knew that he puts lumps on you when he hits you with that left hand. On a TKO, and still in the middle. undefeated, TKO Jerry Cooney. After four rounds, here's the action in that fourth round. One thing I like, one thing I liked about this fight, Cooney proved he can take a punch because Jimmy hit him with some good left hooks. Didn't bother him a bit. Stayed right in there and fought right with him. Only the second time Jimmy Young has been stopped in his career, and he has fought. People like Foreman, he has fought Ali, he has fought Norton, but it was Jerry Cooney, the first man in seven years to stop Jimmy Young. Our winner, Jerry Cooney, will be back to talk with him after this message. Bedlam here at Convention Hall in Atlantic City. Want to remind you, we'll be going back to Charlotte 600 for the race. With me, we have Gil Clancy here. Very victorious Jerry Cooney. You are so elated here. This was a very important victory for you. Tell me about what it means to you now, Jerry. Well, there was a lot of pressure been put on me uh, up to my career now. You know, I'm, I'm uh, still undefeated. And every fight comes more and more pressure. But I have a beautiful trainer. Victor Valley trains me hard. I have two managers, Mike Jones and Dennis Rappaport, who people criticize in the beginning but you know I can't see the way, why the criticism I'm number one and uh, what kind of criticism are you talking about well they're putting me against nobody's uh, 
gonna put them on the phone. You know, we silenced the critics today. Things like that. All right. Gil? I, I would just like to thank all my fans, all my friends, uh, the Concord Hotel. You're gonna have a lot more fans after this, I'll tell you that, because Everybody you showed something in that ring. Gil, you have a question? Yeah, Jerry, two questions. Number one, did Jimmy hurt you at any time in the fight? No, it didn't hit me at any time I, in the fight. And the other thing, I, you didn't really surprise me, but you surprised a lot of people with that right hand. When you banged that right hand to oh, the yeah, body and you came back on the right chin hand. with it. Yes. Um, we are working very hard with our right hand lately. I know they were expecting the left hook mostly. But he hurt him with the right hand. You know, hand. when we looked at that very impressive victory over Dino Dennis last November, the, really the right hand was non-existent. So you really surprised a lot of yeah. people. And I guess there's no such thing when you talk about criticism, Jerry, one-punch fighter, I guess that's by the boards, right? Sure, sure. That's that. I'm working hard every day in the gym. I don't get no time off. I get a few days off. I'm back in the gym. And I'm training hard to, for my goal to be heavyweight champion of the world. Your strategy early in the fight, feeling out Jimmy Young in the first round, was that what you wanted to that's do? Right. That's right. That's was, right. Uh, that was a strategy to fill him up. And uh, watch him. Uh, I know he was watching for the left hook, so we fooled him. We hit him with the right hand. And that was looking for the opening. Yeah, we're looking for the opening. The Victor, did you feel that you wanted uh, Jerry when he really had Jimmy on the ropes and he opened up that cut to go more to the body than he for did? The, but yes, that's right. I was telling Jerry only for the body because I know he was defending uh, mostly the, the face. So I tell him, forget about the face, hit him in the body. And that's, I think that was the punches I did the most, the body punches. That's right, Vic. Those right hands to the body right set up those other punches. All right, Jimmy Young, Jimmy Young, don't go away. I want to get a comment from Jimmy in a minute a couple of minutes because he deserves that we're going to take a look now I'm at the fourth about. round this was the final round the fourth round jerry why don't you talk us through it because this was the one that did it fourth round action okay i knew he was cut it was closed up i stuck a jab here opened it up again and i knew that he's very he's a very uh he's very crafty uh fighter he's hard to hit say that so right hand there there's a goes in my hand again so i'm looking for the openings you know you know, when you had him in trouble, he came back and threw some leather, didn't he? Yes, he did. Just did. Very, yeah, he's the very best tough. Heavyweight in the world. Very tough fighter. There's the right hand again. There's the right hand again. Uh, well, Jimmy Young is here, and we we're going to look at this entire round, and then I'm going to bring Jimmy in and ask him a few questions, yeah. because people say that left hand, I know the right did it today for you, but that left hand really punishes people. I want to know what he thinks. Now you can see that cut on the bridge of the nose, it really affected his vision. Jerry, you, you, felt, you, you felt that you had it there, you wanted to end it there, right? Yeah, I'm looking for the openings. Uh, we call him to be careful anyway. Well, were you wary at all that uh, Jimmy Young, who has been in trouble before, might might come back and, and uh, you know, yes. like well, he did against Foreman? I was concentrating we, we on the whole fight, uh, and I was just looking for my openings, not, not looking to throw any careless punches. See, that's where I was There's telling that right him to hand. go. Right hand. Go right hand in the body. I told him to keep going there, right there. And that uppercut, that's a that's a lovely uppercut you have, too. Yes, I'm, I'm working on all my punches. Did you hurt him with the uppercut today? I felt I hurt him a few times. He takes a very good punch. He's clever. Sometimes you don't know if, he, if you're hurting him or... You know, you got to just uh, keep well, your eyes in there and keep looking, keep watching what you're throwing at. Well, you jittery coming into this one, I know that doesn't necessarily mean you're in trouble. How did you feel? I wasn't jittery at any time. I, I, I've been training at the Concord Hotel upstate, running the hills and the mountains, and uh, we had three or four spawn partners, and my trainer, Victor Valley, was uh, teaching me all the things I had to learn from uh, Jimmy Young, knowing that he's, he's one of the best fighters in the division. I think so. And uh, I was just working on my moves. It was a good test because here was a fighter that has made other fighters look bad, right? Very bad. Yeah. Very bad. He's a very cute fellow. Very smart. You got to give him credit. He's uh, uh, experienced. We're not, uh, we're not afraid of any other opponent after we did with uh, Jimmy Young there. I would, I would like to thank uh, Billy Joyner, uh, Oliver Wright, and uh, Malik Dozier for helping me train for this fight. Yeah. Well, they did a good job. Tell us what was going on right now. Well, Final seconds. I knew he was, the blood was bothering him very much, so I'm just trying to start down low in his body, and drop his hands a little bit, and then bring him, come on the inside and try to uh, hit, hit, hit the chin or catch him with a good shot. Well, as the blue-collar fighter that, uh, that Mike has uh, described you, you go to work, uh, you fight, you may stop for a little libation on the way home, and you go home. Is that what you're going to do now? <laughs> uh, I just do the best I can all the time. And I hope I, I hope he I stops and doing. tells me those corny jokes all the time. <laughs> well, he can afford to say the corny jokes, because there you look at the finish. Jimmy Young, a battered mess, and you're looking at our winner. Still undefeated, 23-0, with 19 knockouts. Jerry Cooney, number one Hello, ranked. Hello, Miss Valley. All right.
right, very hey, last Thomas question Valley. for you now, Jerry, and for you, Victor and Mike. Okay. What now? Thank you very much. What are you going to try to do now? What are you trying to accomplish at this point? We like Weaver. We like to fight Weaver. I know it's up to the manager. We have fine work they've done. Mike Jones and Dennis uh, Rappenport uh, done a terrific job with them. Uh, not uh, excluding me. <laughs> we work, oh, everyone uh, worked very hard. What about a title shot now? What about it? Are you ready? Is, are they ready for you? <laughs> I, I just like to say I want to keep training in the gym and keep learning. I have so much to learn. Um, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I have Victor Valley as my trainer, like I said before, and my managers, Mike and Dennis uh, Rappaport. And uh, I just like to keep training and keep learning and just keep winning and hopefully win, my, win the title, my goal. That was a learning experience for you today, today didn't you? Very much so. uh, you wanted to win, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Jerry Cooney learned that he won this afternoon as he defeated Jimmy Young here in Atlantic City. We'll be back with more from Atlantic City in just a moment. Well, there's Jerry Cooney uh, leaving right now. How elated he is. And there is Jennifer, who you saw in our profile of Jerry and you look at his very impressive record and it won't be long before Jerry gets a title shot uh, the public is going to demand it uh, if uh, the other fighters don't give it to him but Jerry Cooney uh, he said I don't look at myself as a white hope I just consider myself as a hope he's a very fine hitter but he's a good looking six foot five they call him gentleman Jerry Cooney and he certainly has won I think a legion of fans this afternoon because he is without question the hardest puncher we have looked at the young heavyweights as you know Greg Page, Michael Dokes, but no one can punch of the young heavyweights in fact.